Hey, hello everybody, it's your boy Durf, and welcome to another episode of Scrap Make Nick. Today we're going to be expanding on a previous topic. I already showed you guys how to build this single bearing tank steering system where you can just control the tank with WASD. And if you haven't seen that video already, I'm going to link it in the description so you can go watch that. Yeah, because as I said, we're going to be expanding on that idea. We're going to add a turret to this tank where you can control that turret with your mouse. So it's going to be a fully functioning WASD tank. You, you steer around, you drive around with WASD, but then you point the turret with your mouse. We're just going to use this for the base of our tank. You're probably going to want to build your tank a little bit differently depending on a few different things. But let's just uh, start with this for now. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm expanding the front of this tank a little bit just to give me some room to build the turret. If you're using another mod, you can build this with like smaller engines to give you some more room to build your turret. But I'm just going to use this and we're going to build my turret right on top of that. This is just sort of like an example, so just keep in mind that you can build your tank turret however you want. Uh, we need two bearings. One for the direction that we're pointing in and the other one for the pitch. So we put the orientation block on the bearing, set it to camera mode, and then we're going to stick our spud gun right on top, pointing in the same direction. All right, so we need a couple of math blocks. One of them is going to be for the turn signal, and the other one's going to be the drive signal for WS and AD. So if you don't know, the orientation block in the mod pack mimics a seat where it outputs WASD controls. So we're outputting these orientation WASD controls to WASD converter blocks. And this will be like relative to our camera orientation. So we'll just set uh, the turn signal to one and the pitch signal to the other. And now our pitch engine is going to do the, um, uh, the, the, the vertical bearing, the thing that will actually control the pitch. And this bearing will control the turning. And then we just give this thing engine power and that's it. It's actually really that simple. Although we might have to reverse, uh, at least one of these bearings. Or both of them. Or just one of them. There we go. Alright, so now we got it. Just keep that in mind when you're building some of the stuff. You might actually have to reverse uh, at least one of the bearings. I'll stick a button on here. Hook the button to the spud gun. And the seat to the button. Oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I connected that wrong. And the seat to the button. No! <laughs> no! All right. So now we have our WASD controlled tank. And then we can point our spud gun and shoot ourselves in the face if we want to. Using our mouse and, of course, the, the button three. So that's actually a really simple setup, and it makes for a very easy to control tank without using too many buttons. WASD to drive the thing, and aim with your mouse. It's kind of hard to see though, so we're going to move on to the second design, where this thing will be a little bit easier to see. So for this setup, where the seat is actually like right on top of the turret of the tank, uh, you're, it's, it's, a, it's a little different, it's meant to be used in first person mode. So let's actually remove this seat entirely, and then we'll hook up the new seat, like we have this old seat hooked up. There we go. So now this is a little bit easier to control, and we have a first person tank. So yeah, you just gotta keep in mind that you can't see your tank treads, so this will be a little bit more difficult to drive around, but it does make aiming your tank a heck of a lot easier. Oh yeah, so if you, you can totally have tank battles like this in first person. Oh, that's gonna be really fun. All right, now I'm gonna show you one more build that you might actually consider to be uh, quite useful. So if you're using a weapon that has a lot of drop on its shot, on its projectile, 
this build is going to be extremely useful for you. Here we go. Set that to camera mode, just like the others. Connect that bearing to a controller. And then we're going to set this to positive... 30 degrees. Uh, negative. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'll just flip the bearing. There we go. Okay, so now uh, that's all hunky-dory. Let's put on a button to fire the cannon. And we're going to connect our seat to the drive to drive the tank. And we're also going to connect our seat to the button to fire the cannon. Let's also don't forget to power the engines. Oh right, and we gotta connect the orientation block to these controls. Done. So this is the uh, next build idea. So uh, this is actually designed to use in third person where the orientation block is naturally pointing down relative to the, to the cannon's uh, pitch. It's pointing down. So you can actually take a look at your tank treads where you're driving. And if you notice, the camera's the the orientation block in camera mode is pointing down to the ground, but your cannon is still pointing upwards. So this will give you a little bit of easier control in third person, and you can still have your tank battles with some long distance shots. And if your target's close, you can just point down and still have everything on screen. You can get the full range of this cannon without too much effort. Of course, I'm sure you guys can make your tanks look much prettier than mine does. Maybe if you, uh, you know, covered it in metal or some material that would actually protect some of this logic, then it would make some more sense. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully you guys learned something about how building tanks with the mod pack parts, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun having some awesome tank battles with your easy to control tanks. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!